I got nothing. I got nothing. Negative nothing. I got nothing. Anybody got nothing? Um, I knew it was dangerous to follow Gabe, but somebody had to do it. <laughs> All right, I'm a broadly trained earth scientist. Actually, I'm not a trained earth scientist. I'm a biochemist and toxicologist who started as an MD, PhD. People don't know that about me. Now, mostly what I do, I try to think, what, what is what I'm working on? What's the <coughs> what happens to snow? Snow's really just the water. Snow's the water that's really complicated. It gets into the ground. Uh, fills reservoirs and recharges groundwater and lets trees grow and moves mine waste and does all these sort of things because snow comes in when there's not a lot of energy around. Uh, when there's a lot of energy around, you get songs like from the spatial group that Gabe was talking about. When there's not a lot of energy around, that water gets in deep and that's the water that we rely on. And so I'm an accidental hydrologist, probably 80% of the work that we do. We've got a couple NSF projects and a couple projects funded by stakeholders that are looking at what happens to snow. How much of it sublimates? How does it change the climate around it? How does it recharge groundwater? How does it deal with all sorts of the cool, funky things that it does? And I kind of like skiing, so it fit that I came to Utah. Um, all sorts of crazy research on there. If you go by my lab, the students have called it the Eco Cryo Hydro Bio Geochemistry Map Laboratory. <laughs> so, again, broadly trained, broadly curious earth science. It's the highest compliment I can think of. That's why I like it here. Broadly curious. Um, in other parts of my job, I had a partial appointment as a faculty member, a partial as doing other stuff. Uh, I worked as state EPSCOR director, and one of the things I noticed, there were 200 faculty, 50% of the faculty said they had expertise in water here, but there was no water program. So I spent a few years working with a bunch of colleagues and housed through the GCSC, this interdisciplinary certificate in hydrology and water resources. It's open to all students all across campus as long as you can do the basic math and physics. Uh, we have six colleges that are participating in it right now. We had our first two graduates, it's two years old. It's an awesome program, it's a wonderful opportunity. The other thing that I noticed is like, we have a lot of rock stars. The title for today's seminar was the rock star introduction. Um, that are doing research around here, but it's really hard to find it. So again, working with GCSC and colleagues across campus, we've been trying to codify that research, bring it all together, so that we can find it, students can find it, um, and more importantly, funding agencies can find it so they can see what we can bring to the table in terms of large coordinated research projects. How we move beyond an individual research project and string our strengths together, um, including our musical talents, <laughs> to address uh, real issues that are facing the Western US or really semi-arid regions around the world. It's similar, we do work in China, and that's all, folks. The grumpy old man closes off the grumpy old man. <laughs>